what's up virgo i'm about to do y'all weekend love reading so i started to pull y'all cards already off camera but then i turned the camera on because the first two cards that came out were fours four swords four of wands so i wanted to catch it if something else another four or something came out like but let me get seven cards from this deck and ten cards from another one to see what's going on with you and your person so Okay, so far I see Libra, Taurus, and Sagittarius energy. Also, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, of course, y'all at the center y'all reading. But I feel like both people are like career focused or money focused or focused on their health, their own well being right now, with the Queen of Earth being in the middle. Um Both people might also be like getting more into their spirituality or trying to. But for the most part, I feel like I don't feel like y'all two are communicating much. Mostly y'all not y'all not communicating at all. But I feel like if you are communicating with them, it's not like much of an exchange. I feel like one person is very like it's a certain place they're not gonna let you get past or let you get deeper or let you get close to them. Like they're kind of defensive if this is for you. Um, but energies can go vice versa. But I feel like you see this person as somebody who you have like deep roots with. Why is the four ones here? If you're not married or committed to them or you were never married or committed to them, I feel like it's somebody who you feel like a really deep, strong tie to. Ten of Cups. Okay, so you can have a lot of laughs when you're with this person, a lot of good times. It could be children involved or if not, it's just about them bringing a lot of happiness to your life. But with the moon, oh, shizzle. Let me see. Why do it always happen on Virgo readings? <laughs> but the moon being at the bottom is like um a lot of suspicion. Y'all got the moon last weekend, like a lot. Um hidden. But it's like despite that you still see this person as somebody who you love and somebody who you have a lot of good times with or you have had a lot of good times with. But I feel like it's Kind of like a tug of war energy because you got the five of wands as an issue. So it could be a lot of conflict or ways where y'all just can't get on the same page. The five of swords. I mean, five of wands. Five of wands is here. King of pentacles. So it could like be no commitment or feel like their energy is pulling in too many different directions or you just know that they're entertaining other people or they haven't really chosen you or committed to you because you have the six of ones at the bottom could be a leo involved or not but either way i feel like you got the four of ones five of ones six of ones you might have an issue with them entertaining other people or maybe the seeking attention like yeah it could be a hoe like, <laughs> like for attention or like a real life one which I'm not judging I'm just saying that could be like what you have an issue with if this is for you so if that matched you then what's coming off of the energy towards you is the nine of wands so defensive the way they're showing up like they don't really trust you the star being here What's going on with y'all? Like, this shit is mad weird. Neither one of y'all. It's like a tug of war, for real. You got the four of wands. You got the king and queen of earth. So, I definitely feel like, a, like it's a soulmate bond or 
somebody you were committed to or are committed to or want to be <laughs> and but your energy with the five of wands is shit y'all can't get on the same page about them is like they're defensive like they want you and they see you as a star <laughs> oh but they they feel like okay they feel like they did something to hurt you or they did something to make you some type of defensive when it comes to them so they can feel like you're standoffish or they can't have you the way they want you so let me get one more Okay, so this person likes to do spontaneous things with you. They like to, like, go places, travel with you. I feel like the Page of Wands is there because they're wanting some action in the situation. <laughs> it could be sexual action. It could be just fun. It could be traveling with the Six of Wands or them traveling towards you. You come into them. I feel like... The Ace of Swords being how they feel is definitely something they want to say or make clear. So this person, I feel, wants to let you know that they do want you. Like, they do have emotional, emotional, they have an emotional connection to you, but it's also passionate. Let me see. Let me get one more for Virgo. Because I feel like it's a reason I got hung up on emotional. And that's why I wanted to pull again. And then we got two emotional cards. So it's like. And then it's another water card. I got seven of cups and the eight of cups. So do they want to like, I feel like they want to let you know, like they walked away from their options or something about options or they weren't fulfilled with whatever option they had or options they had. I feel like that's what's in their energy or what they're wanting to do. It's interesting. But the Empress is their issue with you. So you're not nurturing them. Maybe, yeah, you're not doing the things that you used to do for them. But this is for you whatever that is I'm not clarifying it so <sighs> let me see what is this person's most likely energy actions well just Virgo in general where is Virgo in love what is coming to them in general and I should be able to tell if it's this person that's coming towards y'all Virgos Swords, the fool. You see, like I said, with the nine of wands and um, what was it, the star? I was saying how they want to come towards you, but they're scared that you're going to be defensive, or if not defensive, not trusting them, or either that's just just them questioning their self if they're going to be able to get what they want. So you got the seven of swords at the bottom. I feel like in the past, somebody got caught in a lie, some sneaky activity, which is what led to the Seven of Swords. You got the Seven of Swords to the Eight of Swords. So now it's like they're, they're nervous about coming back. They know they did wrong, and they're wanting a fresh start. And the Eight of Cups, yep, they're wanting to come back towards you, start fresh, wipe the pads clean. Keep in mind, things can go vice versa. Because in the recent past, I feel like you've been closed off from them. I also feel like, Virgo, you don't really... You don't really trust the situation. Or you don't really trust new situations when it comes to love. Even though you feel like it would be nice to meet a person who you can trust and come together with. 
You just don't trust it enough to take a leap of faith. And the recent past with the Four of Pentacles, I feel like maybe you've been closed off or you're just focused on work or getting stable or staying sta stable financially or like within yourself. It could be your health, wealth, everything. It's like you're focused on you or you were in the recent past. But right now, I feel like you might have negative thoughts about love or a new or new love, but in the near future with the two of cups coming towards y'all. I definitely feel like it's a soulmate coming towards y'all. A soulmate or a twin flame or somebody who's gonna reciprocate your energy. Why is the two of cups here? Five of cups. So is the person from the past that we were just talking about that comes towards you wanting to exchange wanting to give and receive love wanting to express emotion and actually listen to how you feel about something could be a fire sign could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius or not either way I feel like they want to have fun with you because that's the page again I think the page of fire came out last spread the bottom, you got the justice card. Like I was saying, wanting to express how they feel towards you and have you do the same. Like, get to some sort of balance or understanding, fairness in the situation. It's what somebody's person is coming back to do. Um, I feel like you're going to be... Like, this is going to make you happy, make you feel emotionally fuller like you don't feel like it's adding to your happiness with the nine of cups when this person comes back around why is the nine of cups here i also feel like you have goals that you're focused on other things outside this person so with the six of pentacles is like you could be focused on different financial opportunities that you want to take um that you want to take like why am I trying to add shit on like you should like take advantage of maybe is what I was trying to say so you could have different job offers or just be looking for different opportunities as far as work or business so somebody's seeing you as empress so you don't have to be a female um male or female this person is seeing you as beautiful they're seeing you as somebody who is naturally abundant like you don't have to try hard in order to like command the room or get get attention and they see you as very skilled at something is responsible for a lot of people like they feel like you nurture a lot of people or spread love to a lot of people okay so You want some sort of answers about something. You want the truth about something. This could just be you wanting to know how somebody feels or wanting to know which path you should take when it comes to love. What's best for you. So last card I was the chariot. So <laughs> I just shuffled. And they got the, the Ace of Swords and the Hierophant. So it's literally communication about commitment. This could also be about marriage. Clear communication. You got that bottom? The bottom is the Six of Cups. So it's about this a past person, a reconciliation. So, I mean, it looks good so far. I'm going to clarify one more time. Yep. So it could come with a, an apology that starts a new cycle. Apology from one side or both sides. Either way, some sort of um, sincere, sweet gesture coming towards y'all that's going to like create a new cycle for you and an old person, I guess. So what is the advice for Virgo? Hierophant again. Like this is literally page of cups again literally the same card came out page of cups twice so 
I feel like this is a situation that could be could lead to marriage if it's not marriage already. If it is already in marriage, <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be successful. Maybe go from a, a phase of like separated to not. If it's not a marriage, it doesn't have to be, of course. Like it could just be a commitment or it could be a spiritual contract that you two have with each other. So if that is the case, I feel like it's coming together to complete whatever that contract is about. Obviously there's more time for y'all to spend together, things for y'all to do or manifest together. So and I also feel like this person, whoever apologizes, I feel like it's sincere. For the Virgo who this resonated with. So, yep. The yeah, the ram. Perseverance. So, this is a situation that can be healed, I feel. Perseverance is, of course, it's like about getting knocked down, having to try again. Um, continuing to try, pretty much. So it says you have many gifts. No problem can withstand the power of your map, your mind. With patience, you can reach your mountaintop. Never give up, and good luck will follow. So, hopefully, this reaches the Virgos four. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh, I swear, if I knock this shit.